Hey, what's up? So, um, welcome to the channel, first of all. Uh, I may have stumbled across something very interesting, and maybe there's something to it that's not a definite by any means, but uh, I want to talk about it. So, um, I'm on the Smash Bros. Japan products webpage, and if you don't know what that is, basically it links you to Smash Bros. DLC, Fighter Pass 1, Fighter Pass 2, me costumes, all that sort of stuff, right? So, why am I on the Japanese one? Well, uh, actually, I should translate this. Uh, but basically, I found something interesting. I was trying to read Japanese, and then I realized I can't read Japanese. So we're going to translate this. So here's what... Uh, where did I find this out? Um, all right, yeah, so... <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> all right, but the, the sixth body set. That's... <laughs> You gotta love, you gotta love Google Translate the body set. But basically, you know, they're telling you, all right, Fighter Pass Volume Two, you'll get the ancient weapon costume, and then there's gonna be the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and eleventh fighters coming. Uh, distri distribution by the end of 2021. Again, we know that's a placeholder, but there's a specific date down here. Where did I see this? I know I've seen it. Otherwise, I'm not posting this video. Um, where is it? It's down here farther, right? It's past. Yep. Fighter Pass 1 with all the characters. Here we go, here we go. Right here. Click here for vo Volume 2 stores. Volume 2 stores. What does that mean? Um, well, Volume 2 Fighter Pass. We're getting DLC. Well, it's like a Smash Bros. DLC. Like, Super Scuffle Smash. Is that what it's actually called? Or is that the Google Translate messing up? Super Scuffle Smash Brothers Special? Uh, but basically, it's talking about uh, uh, Smash Bros. Fighter Pass 2 dates. And we have a very interesting one down here. Check this out. Can I zoom in? Thank you. Move over. Release date. March 23rd, 2020. It is currently March 4th, so that is less than 20 days. Well, 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 well. March 23rd. Why is that specific? Okay, okay. I know everyone's like, whoa, March 23rd, we're getting something. Not necessarily. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a little bit of a thing that I'm going to go on here. So March 23rd, that just, that means for this, uh, this thing, the actual card, they're going to start selling it in stores. You know, then you scratch off the back and you'll have the code and you can redeem it online. So like, if you were buying it for a gift for somebody, obviously, that's where you would take this and run with it, whatever it might be. So, um... The, the DLC is going to be start being sold in, uh, the actual cards are going to start being sold in stores on March 23rd. But, but, it's interesting, and this is just kind of like, uh, I was taking the, taking it this way. If they're going to start selling the cards, and I'm just going strictly business mind here. Business mind. If you're trying to sell something to somebody, you're going to want to at least provide a little bit of information on what you're going to get, right? You want to... A little, a little sneak peek, a little whatever it might be. And business-wise, you're not going to just put out a card and go, you want to buy this for whatever, however much it is? I, I don't have U.S. dollars on here, but however much it is, do you want to buy this while knowing nothing about it? So, like, casual people walking around the store are going to look and go, ooh, Smash Bros., what's this for? More fighters? Uh, who's in it? Then it's not going to tell you who, who's in it. So here's where I'm going with it. What if by March 23rd, Maybe before, maybe a little bit after, maybe on that exact same date. What if we do actually get at least a tease, a nod, uh, a, a something to Fighter Pass, Fighter Pack character number six? So maybe there's a Smash Bros. Direct. Maybe there's a Nintendo Direct with the next Smash character. Now I know you're saying uh, some people, and I'm still in the boat that I don't think we're getting the next Smash reveal until E3. Due to uh, what Push Dustin uh, kind of tweeted out about Sakurai's column. What was that? Back in January, I believe. A couple months ago. A little over a month ago. But uh, where he said that uh, don't expect any Smash news anytime soon. Um, so I'm in the boat. Where I'm, I'm fully believing E3 is when we're getting the next character. Maybe two. At least revealed. So um, I don't know. This is just interesting. Release date for the individual card. And again, trying to... Let's try to... I'm going to try to re-summarize this. The release date for the card is going to be in stores. And then, just to help sell it a bit more, maybe they put a character from Fighter Pass 2 on this card to pe for people to go, that character's going to be in Smash Bros? Yeah, I'll take a chance and buy the whole thing now. I mean, business-wise, it makes sense. 
like you you want to try to grab people's attention and something that's just kind of a blank slate and you're like hey come buy this you're gonna get characters well who well, i don't know just buy it anyway that's not really enough to entice some casual people who are just walking through the stores going up and down the game aisles whatever it might be if they don't know who's in it chances are you're not going to necessarily buy it unless you're one of the hardcore fans so maybe maybe that march 23rd date has a little bit of relevancy to it in terms of we could maybe we get something around that date at least an announcement i'm not saying an actual release for fighter pack character number six but maybe at least uh, a tease maybe a, a character breakdown video because again Going back to the last two characters, let's go uh, talk about Terry's uh, pre presentation. Uh, Sakurai in the video said that he did that video a month in advance. And at that point, Terry looked like he was absolutely near complete. And then fast forward to the Byleth presentation. Byleth was the uh, same boat. They filmed that two months in advance. And Byleth looked very near completion. And since um, the Smash DLC cycle... They already knew that they were going to, uh, once they finished with Byleth, they already knew they were going with uh, second Fighter Pass because they decided that uh, many months before they finished up with Fighter Pass 1. So what if we have at least a pretty good start on Fighter Pass character number 6, or Fighter Pack character number 6, maybe even a little bit on 7? Because they are allowed to develop multiple fighters at one time, which is good. So it's just like a constant stream of, alright, here's a character... Next character, next character. So it's not like we're gonna, well, at least fingers crossed here. We don't have like a huge gap of, all right, we get a character and then you gotta wait like eight months and then oh here's another character and then two months after. We don't want that. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. So I I think there's a good chance that uh, at least the first character for Fighter Pass, uh, for yeah Fighter Pass Volume Two, I think there's a good chance that it's got a lot developed for it already. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying it's it's happening, but I wouldn't be surprised if they threw it out there and the character was actually pretty close to being done. Um, I know there's rumors. There's always rumors about Nintendo Directs. When do they ever come true? But um, i seen one with a couple leakers that were saying March 5th, there's going to be a Direct and usually like a Nintendo Direct. I still don't believe it. I have to see it from Nintendo themselves before I'll be like, alright, that's actually real. But... Um, if, for example, if the March 5th ends up being a date with an actual Nintendo Direct, odds are today, March 4th, right? Yeah. The day before, they're going to announce it. They usually announce the new Nintendo Direct or whatever a day before it happens. So if something happens to get announced from Nintendo today about a brand new Nintendo Direct in general, which we've been needing and kind of wanting for quite some time. We had the Pokemon Direct in, um, in January. Then we had a... Uh, uh, the Smash presentation, even though, I mean, are they really directs? Not really, they're just focused on one thing. So, like, a general Nintendo Direct. And here's something interesting. Um, I wish I had this on screen, but the last couple firmware updates for the Nintendo Switch, one happened in, um, when was that? Uh, in January. And then a couple weeks, or a week or two after the firmware update happened, we ended up getting... Uh, well, a Nintendo Direct, the, the Pokemon, and the Smash Bros. one. Then after that, we got another firmware update. We got the Animal Crossing one. And now we just got another firmware update on Monday the 2nd. So maybe within the next week or two, maybe there's a pattern there and we end up getting, uh, you know, uh, some sort of Direct. Maybe another presentation for Smash. Hopefully a Nintendo General Direct. I mean, there's still a lot that's coming out in the very near future. I'm not, I'm not expecting any more Animal Crossing DLC. Or <laughs> DLC. I'm not expecting any Animal Crossing content because we just got a big one. But uh, there's other third-party co uh, uh, companies that are releasing games on the Switch. I mean, we got to see the near future for uh, Nintendo games. What first-party games are in the works that are coming out within the next three to six months, whatever it might be. Uh, is there an update on some other stuff? DLC for past games like Mario Maker or I know Luigi's Mansion. I think that just got some new uh, DLC for like a multiplayer thing. So uh, they got a lot. I mean, it just kind of makes sense. And we haven't had an actual Nintendo Direct, like a general one, not, not, not game specific, but an entire Nintendo Direct. We haven't had one of those since September. So been a few months since we've had one of those so i don't know um there, there's some patterns going here again 
take patterns however you want. Sometimes they're something, and other times they're not. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, March 23rd, the actual card uh, is going to be sold in retailers. Maybe they put a face along with that. I guess that's what I'm trying to put with this whole video. Maybe they put Fighter Pack character number 6 on the card as well to be like, hey, for example, character, I don't know, Crash Bandicoot. Put him on the card be like, hey, Crash is going to be in Smash along with even more fighters. You want to buy it? Here you go. Take it home. Buy it as a present. Somebody's got to have a birthday, right? Everybody has a birthday at least once a year, right? Uh, but anyway, except for people on Leap Year. They only get one birthday every four years. Kind of sad. But anyway, I guess that is that's pretty much uh, it's pretty much all I got. Uh, if you want to read the, uh, uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to this in the description. Hopefully, sometimes I forget, but I'll leave it again. It's just down at the bottom. Um, yeah, it's the Japan it's the Japan one. For some reason, it's not on the uh, the English one. So at least last time time I checked, it wasn't on the English one. So I'm gonna leave a link to uh, to this in the description. Check it out, the Japanese one. <laughs> I still can't believe it's the body set. <laughs> can't believe it. that's what they call it. Is that like a <gasps> Reggie Fizme? He's going to be a downloadable Mii fighter, but has tremendously much more diverse moveset. The body set. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. But um, yeah, um, yeah. And this is kind of interesting. I, I didn't uh, notice this before. One fighter, one stage, and multiple new songs. We knew all about that. Doesn't say anything about spirits. That could be interesting. Are they going to cut spirits for uh, all the characters in Fighter Pass 2? That could be... That's something to look out for. That's something to look out for. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are expecting. Do you think we're getting a Nintendo Direct soon? I kind of hope we do because we're kind of really overdue for one. And, um, yeah, maybe we get Smash content. Maybe we don't. Oh, well. If, whenever we do, I'll be good with it. I mean, E3 can't get here soon enough. I guess that's what I'll, I'll leave it at. But uh, anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.